Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's pose breakdown, we're gonna be talking about this pose, Vajrasana or diamond pose. Uh, this is another seated posture that you can come into um, for centering at the beginning of a practice, at the end of a practice. This is a great meditation pose if you find it comfortable. And um, so let's get into it. So as you can see, um, the pose is simply sitting on the knees and the heels. So the shins are on the floor. And I actually really, really love this pose. I find when I am seated in something like Sukhasana, a cross-legged position, um, have a pose breakdown of that, I'll link below. I, um, my legs get a little tingly, kind of pins and needles feeling if I'm in it for too long. And in this pose, I can prop in such a way that I don't experience that. Okay, so let's talk about some different prop options for Vajrasana. So the, my personal favorite one is a block. Now you can um, have the block kind of on the lowest setting, on the medium setting. Other than that, I think it would just be uncomfortable, but you know, you do you. <laughs> so you just bring the block underneath your seat. Depending on the height of the blocks, I have at home these kind of thin uh, blocks, so I actually like to double these up but most blocks at a yoga studio are a little bit thicker than this. So depending on what you have around, and it can be also a cushion, a rolled up blanket, if you don't have blocks, um, just something a little bit sturdy uh, that can fit underneath your um, seat. So I'm gonna stack both of those up there. Ooh, and now I'm tall. My legs look really weird because of the angle at the camera, but we're gonna move right along. So you can use um, blocks in between the seat and the floor, and this will just, again, give yourself some more space for the legs if you find it's uncomfortable to sit flat on the heels, especially for any length of time. Another option you have, of course, is to pad up underneath the knees if you like the idea of this uh, pose, but you know it's not really comfortable for you to put any pressure on your knees. While there isn't actually a lot of pressure on your knees because you're sitting more back towards the heels, you can roll up a mat or you can bring a blanket or cushion underneath the shins, underneath the knees, uh, just to add a little extra cushion. You can do the same thing in between the hips and the block or the heels, depending on what other props you might be using. I'm just gonna take an end of this just to for the sake of argument. Uh, and that can be nice, again, to give yourself some more space, some more lift. And also, if you're sitting on a block and you're like, eh, it's kind of hard, it's not that comfortable, you can add a little cushion to make it a little more cushiony. <laughs> so as far as alignment for this pose, very similar to Sukhasana or any other seated poses. Let the hips settle down into whatever props you might be using and down towards the floor. Let the legs relax. And as again that lower body is settling down towards the floor, feel the crown of the head lengthen up towards the ceiling. So just creating a little more space in the body, more room for the breath. Helps to improve the posture and have all the organs kind of happily stacked where they need to be rather than getting squunched or smushed if we're hunched over. Let the shoulders open and relax down. So noticing where in the body you are kind of settling downward, experiencing that downward pull of energy what areas of the body are lifting upward. So crown of the head is lengthening up, chest is lifting up, but the shoulders are softening down, the arms are relaxed, legs are relaxed as well. Chin is parallel to the floor, so the back of the neck is long, and the head is kind of at neutral. So if you like, you can close the eyes and just take a moment to notice how you feel here in this pose. Take a couple rounds of breath. This may be your new favorite seated pose. This may be something that you never feel the need to do again, <laughs> but you never know unless you try it. 
So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, if you have any requests for these kind of quick pose breakdowns. Um, if you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe below if you'd like to keep up to date with my videos. And I hope you have an amazing day. Namaste.